Hey guys, Ryan here. We just finished another crawl space encapsulation and I want to give you a quick tour so you can see once again the quality of our work. By now, you guys have seen a lot of our videos so you know the products we use, how we install them, and the reasons behind crawl space encapsulation. But one thing that we are doing different is our dehumidifiers normally get placed in the center of the crawl space and we've been doing that for years and it works but we're always looking to improve in encapsulating crawl spaces um, whether it's the products that we install the dehumidifiers we use how the dehumidifiers get hooked up so um, what we have here is the dry air is being ducted all the way to the other side of the crawl space the purpose for that is to evenly dry the crawl space when you put a dehumidifier in the center uh, it starts heating up and then some areas of the crawl space just they don't get dehumidified um, like they should so with ducting the dry air all the way to the other side that's going to then force the humid air all the way back over to this side of the crawl space and be dehumidified so not only is the dehumidifier going to perform a little bit better but the crawl space humidity is going to be controlled just that much more efficient so we've been working with a structural drying company that's been in business for many years and they've done some extensive research and they only use Santa Fe products um, Santa Fe dehumidifiers the cubic feet per minute that comes out of here which is the airflow um, if you don't have a lot of airflow coming out of a dehumidifier you're really not getting the air circulated in the crawl space so you're not going to dry it um, as efficient as it needs to be so if you have any questions about crawl space encapsulation dehumidification um, water problems water control give us a call it's free for us to come out give you an evaluation show you everything we do and and why we do it once again you can reach us at 302-841-1489 you call we crawl